The UN is giving Gazan children a gift that many of us take for granted. The gift is connection. For the isolated strip, it is not easy to see the outside world very clearly. Almost 900 tablets were given to students at schools run by the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees. We've got plans to ensure that every child, all 300,000 students in Gaza have access to a, a, a digitised education um, and they all have a device available to them so they can connect into a much larger world of uh, digitised education. After Hamas took control of the Strip, followed by Israeli and Egyptian blockade, Gaza's economy has suffered and almost three quarters of all young graduates are unable to find a job according to the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics. The project is funded by the European Union and hopes to give the kids access to learning computer skills to boost their chances of employment. And the first thing to do is to make sure they're very familiar with um, digital, uh, using a digital device. Uh, they can then access lots of online digital learning activities. Uh, we've even got some students who are now starting to design their own education apps and share it with students. So it's really about uh, building this di digital literacy within the students. The UNRWA has received criticism about its teaching methods. The US and Israel have both opposed its curriculum that has been accused of teaching anti-Semitism incitement. There are also issues about staff neutrality on the conflict, interference from terrorist elements, and accusations that Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad stored and fired rockets from the schools. Gazans face other educational barriers. Frequent power cuts and weak internet connection makes it hard to stay online. The internet is one of the only ways for Gazans to escape the day-by-day -day hardships that they experience and see a world at peace abroad. These tablets may be their window to the outside.